Hello everyone. Our topic for today is about humans and their environment. Okay, I'm going to discuss about positive impacts of men's interaction with the environment. There are three positive impacts or good impacts of men's interaction with the environment. Number one is farming. Number two, creation of new materials. Number three, development of technology. Okay, so what is farming? Farming provides us with a regular supply of food and raw materials. It also prevents certain animals from being hunted to extinction. That is good thing about farming. That is why it is positive impact in our um, environment. Okay, number two, creation of new material. So, um, people create different materials. If people make materials, we call that artificial materials. It means human-made materials. These are materials created by humans. Okay, so example of uh, man-made material or artificial materials. Okay, these are alloy. Alloy is mixture of two or more metals or alloy is mixture of two or more metals or non-metals. Like, for example, if you combine copper plus zinc, okay, you will have brass. Okay, combine. When you combine copper plus zinc, you will have brass and that is example of alloy. Brass is an alloy. Another one, if you combine copper and tin, you will have bronze. Okay, so bronze is an example of alloy. And this is steel. Okay, steel is stronger and harder alloy. It does not corrode or tarnish easily. Corrode means destroy or weaken. And tarnish means loss of brightness. Okay, here, loss of brightness. So, how to make steel? You combine iron and carbon and you will have steel. Steel is an example of alloy. Okay, what is the effect of using natural and artificial materials? Natural materials are, for example, wood, paper, rubber, or wool. They are biodegradable. Biodegradable means um, it can be decomposed. All right? It means it will be dissolved in the soil because of bacteria or other organisms. All right? That lives in the soil. Plastics are non-biodegradable. It means it cannot be decomposed. When you bury them under the soil, it takes long time to decompose. And also burning plastics produce poisons, fumes, and pollute the air. So these are the plastic bags and we have here plastic containers or gallons and they are non-biodegradable. These are created by human or we call them artificial artificial materials or human made materials okay to conserve the environment these are the five r's policy number 1 reduce number 2 reuse number 3 recycle number 4 repair and number 5 reject okay these are the five r's policy now for the number three, it's about the development of science and technology. This is another positive impact of man's interaction with the environment. Okay, development of science and technology. Now, let's um, define the word technology. What is technology? Technology, can you read? Okay, let us read this. Technology is application of our scientific knowledge to produce new things okay it is the use of knowledge to invent new devices or tools 
you can make new things using your knowledge, your mind, your brain, okay, to produce new things. Okay, the science and technology, it is applied. It means the knowledge and invention of new things, it's applied in biotechnology, bioengineering, medicine, cloning, genetically modified food, and communication. All right, so like for example, in communication, okay, what kind of communication do we have right now? We call that telecommunication system. What are the telecommunication system? We have the telephones, we have mobile phones, and we have communication satellites and internet. Okay, long time ago, in the time of our grandparents or grand-grandparents, they did not have any mobile phone. They did not have any internet, telephones. They just sending message to the person but because of our new technologies today we have this kind of things that help us to have easy communication with our loved ones in long distance okay now bioengineering what is bioengineering bioengineering is the application of any form of engineering to living things it, it means like for example someone uh, made uh, something that put in the body a machine that helped the living thing to survive. That is um, a bioengineering. Like for example, this one. Okay. Mechanical heart pump. Okay. Someone invented the mechanical heart pump. So this is example of uh, science and technology. Okay. The genius brain think of how to make mechanical heart pump and then this mechanical heart pump is in the heart so that the heart can continue to pump okay that is an example of bioengineering and this one is robot arm that can use by human to function their arm again so that is example of bioengineering okay bioengineering technology another example the hearing aids okay hearing aids eyeglasses your contact lens okay the contact lens if you cannot see clearly and you put the lenses plastic lenses in your eyes that is an example of bioengineering wheelchair is a bioengineering also laser eye surgery heart pacemaker or mechanical heart pump they are just the same that is bioengineering hip replacement like this if your bone is broken it can be replaced by a metal made from titanium and that is what you call artificial hip and that is an example of bioengineering technology Okay, let's go to biotechnology. Okay, bioengineering, biotechnology are not the same. Okay, biotechnology, it means um, the technology that involves the use of living organism. Okay, it's just like um, biotechnology is mainly used in agriculture, food science, and medicine. So that is... Uh, the use of living organism it is often okay used to refer to genetic engineering it's about the genes biotechnology is more on the changing of genes of living organism that is engineering technology of the 21st century so that is our uh, engineering genetic engineering today okay like these are example of biotechnology number one artificial selection artificial insemination you can search in internet if you don't understand some words from here brewing and fermentation medicine and pharmaceuticals okay gene splicing stem cells and tissue regeneration cloning DNA testing and genomic sequencing, protein purification, microbial synthetic biology. 
Okay? Those are examples of biotechnology. And we, uh, I mean, these are the form of genetic engineering. Okay? Genetic engineering is a process by which the genes of living things are modified or changed. Brewing and fermentation is the chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, yeast, or other microorganism. As you see, biotechnology, it means the use of living things, okay? Use of living things. The beer fermentation is uh, the process that use bacteria and yeast and other microorganism to produce it, okay? Like this one, barley malt can be acted upon okay, by another microorganism, which is yeast, which converts sugar in barley into alcohol. Now, when this alcohol, example beer or any alcohol, is acted upon acetic acid bacteria, it forms vinegar. Okay, which we use commonly in cooking. So this is the process how to make vinegar by fermentation process. All right, some bacteria are useful to us. For example, they can be used to make yogurt, cheese. Okay, as what I showed you before, that is vinegar and compost. So some bacteria are very useful, but some bacteria are harmful. So, I'm going to show you how is the milk become yogurt. Okay, this is milk. Some amount of bacteria escape at room temperature for a day. It forms curd, C-U-R-D. That is curd. Because the bacteria present in the milk take glucose of the milk and the bacterial enzymes present inside breaks down this glucose to lactic acid. And this lactic acid forms curd or yogurt from milk. So the yogurt that you can buy from the groceries, it uses the bacteria. What is the name of that bacteria in yogurt? That is Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Okay, that is the name of the bacteria. Can you read it? Lactobacillus. Bulgaricus. Okay, that is the name of bacteria that you can find in curd or yogurt. And that process is fermentation. How about the cheese? How is the cheese being made? Okay, it will change into curd. And then put some salt. Okay, salting the curd. And then put some flavor. Ripening means put flavors to the curd and then store it and it will become cheese by also fermentation. Fermentation process also. Okay. And then medical biotechnology. This is defined as the application of biotechnology tools for producing medical products okay so these products it can be used for diagnosis prevention and treatment of diseases example we have mri okay we have x-rays radiation to cure cancer and we have vaccines this is antibiotic Antibiotic is the best known products of medical biotechnology that are used to treat bacterial infection. Okay. It is used to kill bacteria. We use fungi and bacteria to make antibiotics. Okay. Now, Cloning is another form of biotechnology. Cloning is the removing 
removing the nucleus from one cell and placing it in an unfertilized egg whose nucleus has been removed. Can you read? What is cloning? It is the removing the nucleus from one cell and placing it in an unfertilized egg whose nucleus has been removed. Okay. This is the process of creating an identical. You see, this is an identical. It means 100% the same. Identical copy of an original. So this one original, this is the copy, 100% the same, okay? That is the process of cloning. All right, there are two types of cloning. Number one, reproductive cloning. The egg cell is placed into a uterus of a woman where it develops into a fetus. Number two, therapeutic cloning. The egg is placed into a petri dish where it develops into stem cells. Okay, so two types of cloning, reproductive cloning and therapeutic cloning. All right, so here, as you can see, reproductive cloning, this is the cell, remove the nucleus, no nucleus, get the nucleus from, uh, from one cell and then put in the a cell without nucleus, okay? Same process in therapeutic cloning, okay? Remove the nucleus and get only the cell. So no more nucleus here. So put here and then the nucleus that you get put in the cell and then clone it, okay? Clone and then put in the uh, body of, in the body of animal. Okay, so copy the animal. That is animal clo cloning. But this one, after it clone, it will um, put in the petri dish for tissue culture. This is what you call embryonic stem cells. Okay, it makes transplantable cells and also it helps to replace damaged tissues. All right, that is therapeutic cloning this is how um, the lamb dolly is being cloned okay this is the process of cloning on dolly ship from ship number one get the nucleus only so as you see here okay this is the nucleus okay get the nucleus from ship number one and then, okay, ship number one is the donor of the nucleus. And then from ship number two, this is ship number two, get the cell only, empty cell, no nucleus. And then the two cells are fused using an electric shock. Okay, so sudden, sudden shock so that they can combine and fuse together. When the cell is fused, Okay, the fused cell begins to divide normally. Okay, and then it will become embryo. All right, and then after that, this embryo is placed in the uterus of the foster mother. Number three ship is what we call foster mother because it's just carry the embryo that is. Um, be informed from ship number one and ship number two. The embryo is the fusion of the nucleus from uh, ship number one and to the uh, cell of ship number two and then put in the body or womb or uterus of foster mother number three. And this ship number three will carry the baby. All right, after that, as you see, cloned lamb is born. Okay, let us proceed to genetically modified food. These are the food products derived from genetically modified plants and animals. These are the top 10, okay? Genetically modified foods. We have here corn, soy, cotton seeds, papaya, rice, Grape seeds, potatoes, tomatoes, all right? And we have 
dairy products, and peas. These are all genetically modified foods today. Okay, so example, these are genetically modified corns. These are GM corns. Okay, the good thing about GM corns, they are resistant to pests. Okay, pests, any insects. Okay, harmful insects will not eat them because GM corn resistant. Okay, next, GM tomatoes. So you see the physical characteristic, the appearance change already from organic to GMO. GMO tomatoes stay fresh more longer than organic. That is good thing about uh, changing or modified the genes of these plants. Okay, so as you see here, this is organic. The color change, the characteristics of uh, tomato change already when it's been uh, modified. Okay, another one, GM strawberries. Okay, this is organic and this is GM. The big size is the GM. The smaller size is the organic. And the GM strawberries or genetically modified strawberries stay fresh longer also. Okay. Next, this is GM chicken. Okay, genetically modified. The genes of these chickens are changed. As you see, 1950. In the year 1950, the chicken grow until, okay, the chickens grow until 68 days. So it's very long time, about two months. But in 2012, okay, the chickens grow until 47 days. Um, more than one month only. So it's more faster and the size bigger. Okay, that's the difference between GM chicken. This one is the uh, original. Okay, the natural chicken, native chicken. But this one is the GM chicken, modified, changed the genes of this big size of chicken. All right. I want you to watch the short video about the benefits and risk of GMOs. Okay.
All right, one more time. First, you are going to write the definitions of biotechnology and bioengineering. Okay? And then next, you are going to choose any form of bioengineering and biotechnology to draw in your notebook. Okay, like this. This is your notebook. And then you are going to write down the word biotechnology and then the definition biotechnology is a technology that involves the use of living organisms and then you can choose any form of biotechnology like for example medicine okay you can draw an example of biotechnology to the bottom of your notebook like this okay and then next you are going to write the definition of bioengineering what is bioengineering okay and then same like biotechnology you are going to draw an example to the bottom of your notebook okay next copy the questions and write your answers in your notebook also the question is what are the benefits of gmos Okay, there are four benefits of GMOs. Write it down. Alright, so next question, what are the risks of GMOs? Write down three answers. Alright, class is finished. I hope that you learned something today. Thank you for watching and listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.